coming outside and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I be coming out like that. Oh, God. I be coming outside like that by myself. Like on the daily, though. That should be regular with me. It's you know more. Saying? We won't even go, but, but you know, they know stop that. playing with us. But that's what they know about your guy. Oh, yeah. Chicago ain't what make people make it, you know, make it seem, but it's. Many aficionados of the Chicago drill music scene are familiar with the infamous conflict between Old Block and Tukaville. Nevertheless, this represents merely one of numerous ongoing rivalries within the city, which has earned the ominous moniker of Chirac. Another such feud between 051 Money Gang and 600 has resulted in a substantial loss of life and has instilled a palpable sense of fear throughout the Southside community. Today, we provide you with an in-depth examination of this particular and violent conflict. Chicago is home of a lot of different organizations. Team 600 being one of them. 60th and King Drive was their hood. 600 represents a faction within the Black Disciples Gang, situated along the 600 block of South King Drive in the southern region of Chicago. The establishment of this faction was initiated by D Thang 600, who collaborated with his associate Lil Boo to form it. Originally, 600 operated under the banner of the Gangster Disciples, GD. Yet a prevailing trend in the area witnessed other sets affiliating themselves with the Black Disciples, BD, resulting in a burgeoning alliance among these groups. Recognizing the strategic significance of this shift, the early members of 600 made the pivotal decision to transition their allegiance and align with the burgeoning BD alliance. Subsequently, 600 forged connections with neighboring BD factions such as O Block, 300, Lamrick, and Front Street. Notably, in its initial years within the drill music scene, the 600 faction gained prominence for its impressive roster of skilled rap artists, including notable figures like L.A. Capone, Rondo No. 9, Booka, Ide, Mimo 600, Tay 600, and 600 Breezy. 051 Money Gang constitutes a faction affiliated with the Mickey Cobras, albeit regarding a renegade subset, notable for its penchant for operating independently and not adhering to established norms. This gang also encompasses individuals associated with the Black P-Stones, and even some members of the Gangster Disciples. Their base of operations is situated at 51st and Cottage Grove in the south side of Chicago. While 051 Money Gang may not boast a roster of renowned rap artists. It has nevertheless boasted a considerable lineup of well-known street figures, including the likes of 051 Melly, Drilla, Rose, Lil Mark, Kiddo, Arrow, Fathead, and T-Streets. The feud between these two factions was ignited when d Thang, the founder of 600, opened fire on 051 Melly and other members of the Money Gang in the year 2011. Tragically, d Thang met his demise later that same year, raising suspicions among 600 members that this could have been the handiwork of 051. In response, d Thang's brother, M. Thang sought retribution, resulting in the fatal shooting of 051 member T Streets on November 10, 2011. This event marked the official commencement of hostilities between 051 and 600. While 600 boasted musical talents like L.A. Capone and Rondo No. 9, 051 possessed one Chirac's most feared shooters, 051 Melly, widely recognized as the Grave Digger of Chicago. Melly took a leading role in the conflict, significantly contributing to 051's tally of retaliatory actions as tensions escalated. In February 2012, a 600-member known as Shaq found himself at a house party in the 5900 block of South Calumet Avenue. Tragically, while Shaq was outside attending the personal business, he fell victim to a fatal shooting at the hands of 051 members, with Melly and Kiddo allegedly involved in the attack. Melly came close to admitting his involvement in a video conversation with his niece, where he stated, I'm one of those individuals who waits for you in the dark when you have to go out to pee at night, and I just get you. You scared, you scared, of, the, um, you scared of the dark? No. I'm the one of those type of guys that be in the dark waiting for you when you, when you gotta go pee at night. And I just get you. Although his niece didn't fully comprehend the reference, the streets and online fan base clearly understood the implication of his words. 600 remained active and strategic in their pursuit of revenge. A few months following Shaq's killing, they orchestrated another lethal strike, targeting Fathead, also known as Fats, from 051. On June 22, 2012, Fats was en route to a cornerstone with his cousin when a light gray van approached them. The driver and passenger side of the van fixed their gaze on them as they drew nearer. Although the van continued on its way, a hooded assailant emerged a short while later, stealthily approaching Fats and taking his life. The witnesses attested to recognizing the shooter as the van's driver. She fled for her life and, looking back, witnessed the assailant standing over Fats firing another fatal round. Cede, a member of 600, ultimately claimed responsibility for the hit, triggering 051's retaliation. Fats, who was just 15 years old at the time of his tragic demise, was a beloved member of 051. 051 swiftly sought retribution. Their next victim was 600 Trix, whose life was claimed in a parked car on November 1, 2012, with 051 Kiddo credited for the killing. The ongoing feud intensified, with casualties accumulating and no resolution in sight. However, Trix's death was insufficient to settle the score 
war for fats. 051 set their sights on one of 600's most prominent members, L.A. Capone, a well-known rapper within the city. Steve Drag, D block shit, man. Let's get it. Taste his hunters. You know how we rockin', man. Shack City shit. L.A. Capone has garnered significant attention with the tracks Play For Keeps and Round Here, positioning him as a potential breakout star from Chicago's music scene. Tragically, he was gunned down by 051 members shortly after leaving a recording studio on September 26, 2013. As he walked down an alley near 70th Street and Stony Island Avenue, a vehicle pulled up and opened fire, striking him in the thigh and lower back. L.A. Capone did not succumb to his injuries immediately. He was rushed to Northwestern Hospital but tragically passed away a few hours later. His death represented a significant loss not only for 600, but for the entire Chicago community, particularly the Black Disciples. Many believe that L.A.'s killing was further retaliation for Fat's murder, and there were rumors suggesting that his association with C-Day on that fateful night. Additionally, it was rumored that Trix had been expelled from 600 for providing information about Dro Philly, making his death insufficient to quench the thirst for vengeance. The focus shifted to eliminating one of 600's prominent figures, and L.A. became the prime target. In the aftermath, two members of 051 were apprehended for their involvement in L.A.'s killing. Saki Hardy Johnson, 2014, 08-2186. Involved in an altercation today in Division 9, would you like to make a statement? No. 051 Lil Mick ultimately faced charges as the shooter and was sentenced to 60 years in prison for the murder. 051 Rockhead, present during the shooting, received a 45-year sentence as an accomplice. Following L.A.'s tragic demise, 600 was determined to exact a significant retribution. Not only had they suffered a severe blow to their reputation within two consecutive losses of their members, but they were also grappling with a notable decline in their standing within the music industry, given the absence of their most prominent rapper. The ideal opportunity for revenge presented itself when 051 rapper Lil Mark released a diss track targeting several BD sets, including 600. On March 25, 2014, Lil Mark dropped a remix of Lil Durk's song Competition, titling it No Competition. This remix featured disses directed at both living and deceased BD members. In one particularly provocative set of lyrics, Lil Mark rapped, Wake up, ate a bowl of tricks, while I was blowing on D-Thang. Riding down to Steve Drive, think I'm finna OD. Took a trip to LA, while Ketaman she throat me. In just a few lines, Lil Mark disrespected deceased members of OTF, O Block, Lamron, and 600. Unsurprisingly, only a few days later, Lil Mark was shot and killed while waiting for a bus, accompanied by 051 Lil Ant as they scouted for rivals. An affiliate of the 600 spotted Lil Mark at the bus stop and promptly contacted D Rose from 600. D Rose returned with a van full of BD members and opened fire, striking Lil Mark in the head. There have also been rumors that just before the shooting, D Rose taunted Lil Mark with the remark, Hey, Lil Mark, you forgot your bus ticket. In the van that night alongside D-Rose was THF Twilla. Notably, 051 was embroiled in a feud with another BD set known as THF or Trigger Happy Family, and the attack on Little Mark was a collaborative effort between these two rival sets. Following Little Mark's killing, there were reports of additional individuals accompanying the assailants, including King Vaughn and T-Roy from O-Block, and Five Star from Folly Boys. Little Mark's death sparked a fresh feud between 051 and OTF, with Lil Durk visiting the bus stop where Lil Mark was fatally shot and sarcastically referring to it as a real famous bus stop. Hey, this, this, hey, 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 this bus stop right here, though, this, this, this is a real famous place, you hear me? It's a real famous place, big. And it's bus stop, it's a real famous place, big. This provocative act by Little Dirk further intensified the attention. In retaliation, 051 Melly responded by taking the lives of Little Dirk's cousin, Nooski, and later his manager, Chino. Despite 600's efforts to even the score following L.A. Capone's death, their quest for vengeance persisted. Lil Boo, one of the founding members of 600, continued the pattern by eliminating 051 Polo a few months after Lil Mark's murder. On June 30th, 2014, Polo and another individual were shot in the vicinity of the 600 block of East 50th Place. A neighbor, upon hearing the gunshots, discovered Polo injured in the streets, offering comfort until ambulances arrived. Unfortunately, Polo succumbed to his injuries on the scene. Witnesses reported that Polo and the other victim had been engaged in an argument with someone in a van, which in turn escalated into a gunfire exchange. Lil Boo from 600 took responsibility for the hit. The final fatality in the protracted feud between 600 and 051, who occurred almost a year after the multiple members of 051, Mob, and Jaro City united to target Lil Boo, one of 600's highest ranking members. On April 3rd, 2015, while walking along the 5800 block of South King Drive, Lil Boo was ambushed by a car pulling up beside him. A passenger exited the vehicle, brandishing a handgun and unleashed a barrage of bullets, striking him multiple times. Lil Boo was transported to Northwestern Memorial Hospital, but ultimately succumbed to his injuries. Shockingly, a photograph depicting Lil Boo's lifeless body next to a car 
satire emerged, and his adversaries used it to taunt him posthumously, bestowing him with the moniker Tirehead. 051 Uchi was accredited with the hit, and he was accompanied by Arrow from 051, Bebe from MOB, and Moda from Jaro City. Following Lil Boo's demise, the animosity between 600 and 051 began to wane. By this point, 051 had garnered a reputation as one of the most reviled groups in Chicago and shifted their focus toward conflicts with other gangs. Regrettably, 600 began to unravel when Little Boo's death. They had already suffered a significant setback when C-Day and Rondo No. 9 were arrested in 2014 for the murder of a cab driver named Javon Boyd. In 2016, both C-Day and Rondo were found guilty of the crime, with C-Day receiving a 38-year sentence and Rondo serving 39. To compound their troubles, C-Day's brother E-Day and 600 Breezy accused Tay 600 of cooperating with authorities in regarding to Rondo's case. Tay 600 was facing a gun-related charge at the time, and the allegations suggested that he had cooperated to mitigate his legal troubles. Tay 600 vehemently denied these claims and later vindicated himself when official court documents were released confirming his innocence. The allegations certainly tarnished his reputation and created internal conflicts within 600. Consequently, following Lil Boo's death, it appeared that 600 lost its sense of direction, with members of the gang choosing to pursue separate paths. Notably, 051 Melly met his tragic end at a house party in 2019, although his demise was not at the hands of a 600 member. More recently, Ida 600 was shot and killed in Chicago, despite his his efforts to distance himself from the streets and embark on a legal trucking business venture. The motive behind E-Day's death has not been disclosed, but it may have been linked to past rivalries, potentially involving 051 Money Gang. The feud between 600 and 051 Money Gang stood out as one of the deadliest conflicts in Chirac's history, yet it concluded almost as abruptly as it commenced. Such conflicts often transpire that way. A single instance of disrespect can escalate into an all-encompassing war, leaving a trail of death and incarceration, ultimately leaving no one on the streets to carry on the battle. Both factions will etch their names in hip-hop history as two of the most renowned and respected gangs to ever dominate the streets of Chicago.